How's it going, guys? Chris Becker again with some more Brawl here on the channel. Today, we are playing Feather the Redeemed. Um, this one, imagine it's going to be uh, one of the quicker videos <laughs> of the past few days. Uh, and the reason for that is pretty simple. Uh, Feather is kind of all or nothing commander. Like, she wins or she loses uh, within the first 10 minutes of any given game. And uh, you can play on after that point in the game, but like, doesn't really help. So we will see. We will see where we're at. Um, but now the reason behind our sudden urge to play Feather is because uh, there is another red white deck in standard at the moment that is. Uh, Bit of a havoc tosser. Yeah, I don't really need this in this. Is that why I accidentally got two? Sure, we'll get rid of that. Sure. Uh, we'll pay the life because our mono green blue opponent's probably not going to hurt us. And uh, just play our Feather of the Redeemed. Now, this is the hand where we accidentally drew all of the... Uh, all of the protection, none of the... None of the pomp. I'm hoping we can find some pomp. Greater mana value? I don't know if I have something. I, I guess I do. Isn't that neat? <laughs> Look at us triggering prowess. Now, the only thing about Feather is that card draw uh, isn't as taxing in a, most Feather builds than it would be normally because you generally run a few instant sorceries that draw a couple of cards and then you uh, just keep going with them, right? Like Feather allows you to recycle. And that is uh, really good. Oh my god, a one mana Kiora. Our opponent has truly ascended. I don't know how to feel about it, if I'm being honest. It's kind of my dream to be the strongest, but sure. Mm hmm. Back down you go. And double block. It do happen like that sometimes, opponent. Mm. Don't really care about Kiora all that much. I'm being honest. She's uh, not on my... Not on my count to 25 plan. She can generate a lot of mana, especially with a Fire Mind Vessel or a uh, Lotus. Lotus Petal. Jeweled Lotus? Jeweled Lotus. Chromatic Worry. Like, there are a lot of things that make multiple mana pips that she can untap and make a lot of mana off of, but I'm. Not really all that fussed about it. Yikes. Now they can still cast a five drop. We can't feather away the problem that is Gearhulk. 
So after all of that, our opponent still has four mana at their disposal. We kind of got our worst room pair. All right. Sure. I feel like I just try to kill my opponent. So I'm gonna draw more pump spells. Like, my deck is full of them. The next turn hitting for 8 isn't unrealistic, and if our opponent doesn't deal with Feather, they just die. We're gonna have as many 8-8s... Eight Many 2020s as they'd like. The uh, the Flying Angel Lady will count to 25 before it becomes a problem. So we just don't need to worry about anything. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, it's 17. We need two more damage. And even that doesn't really do it. Because this doesn't say... No block. Hmm... Try again next turn, opponent. Ouch. Vigilance. Vigilance, my enemy. Aha. Uh -huh. Infuriate. One ring. Hello and good luck, opponent. I'm about to successfully count the 20. Five. We're going to distribute their counters again. They even get more targets this time. I, I really helped them out. They need a flyer. And they're drawing for one. Like, they'll get there eventually. Maybe. Uh, what they do will end up impacting my turn. So I do have to be somewhat careful. Very resonant. A lot of mana. Nissa. Doing Nissa things. Love to see it. So this uh this forest here is gonna be making four mana. That makes one by itself, one with the wrath. I guess it'll be making three mana. Three mana is still not bad for a single forest. Like that is uh reasonable. Respectable, some might even say. Why the 10 minute mark? I said we would be winning or losing by now. We are. We are. We have uh, nearly won the game. That's, yeah, we're still good. My mouse drifted off screen and clicked on something, and I was a little bit worried, but we're fine. GG. All right. We will uh, move on to game number two.
the preservers will allow it. Let, there we go. No feather. Uh, we got a lot of really good stuff in Duxmoor. She got a couple of good things in Bloomborough, so it's like... I say a lot. Mainly two spells, but there were a couple of other spells from the two sets that kind of sneaked their way in, and uh, that's really good. I think one of them was another card draw base spell, too, so that's kind of nice. This is exactly what we would want. See? Our prowessy boy gets to go in and attack. There is your map. It's probably going to be a little bit too slow. Hope. Hope it is too slow. If it's not too slow, I will be too sad. Uh, untap land. Pay the life. Another haster. Haste and prowess are good things. I think our our luck might be might be good. Might not be. This is toxic deluge mana. Mm -hmm. Kind of messed up our our play. I say messed up. This is always a uh, unfortunate side effect about. Heather. She is greedy on pips, which means she really wants you to have as many dual lands in your opener as possible. Mm. Yeah, I'm not using these until I have to. Uh. Yeah, the ideal is to have a, a turn where Feather is on the battlefield, and you have the extra white pip to protect her. And the way you do that is you either... Like, run all the dual lands. Or, you don't even work. You don't even work. I'm going to grab this dual land, just because it's the dual land we can grab. Mountains are bad, we don't like them. Swing in either one. We're going to use our Dread Maw. It's just lined up too nicely. It would have been nice to keep it, but I wasn't going to have my third white pip until turn five anyways. We might as well not bully the, not bully the artifact player with a spell that makes unblocked creatures destroy artifacts. A little bit rude. Although if I had the line of residence... Rude opponent. Rude. If they have a bunch of things like that, it doesn't really matter too much. Uh, what happens to us? Because we're going to be sad about it anyways. We have our, our third white pit now. Plaza, it was our second for a long time. It's done its due diligence as a second, and now it's advanced to the rank of first. Or third. <laughs> It's actually downgraded to its rank of third. That's fine, though. Man, I wish you could foretell on your opponent's turn. That'd be nice. Is it the Wrath's turn? Uh, farewell. 
is uh, something we would like to avoid. The mono white answer that kind of just shuts down our best best ways of protecting our commander. Bray is back. Hello, Brea. Are we going to start pitching artifacts to kill Feather? Maybe. Maybe not. Oh, I think we have a... Uh, made Noopsie. I think we've made Noopsie. Hmm. So let's... One plus one double strike. And then see how brave our opponent is. Not very. Okay, well. What are you going to do now, opponent? You have one flyer left. The bad news bears could still happen. It could happen at any moment. Mirror man. Are we copying our commander to get two? No. Okay. See, that kind of gets around it. That's a problem. Don't need that. Would Mishra's, Mishra's command you choose to? It actually would have. Could have won last turn. Never mind. You may have that. Actually, I, I don't care about Key the Archive more. If you're paying full price, I'm fine with it. I'm giving more things flying. I don't know if I can handle that. Rude. Hmm. Down we go a bit. I eh, that's too much. That's too much. We are. Uh... Hmm. I can't attack, so it's got to be one of these two. Probably that. Extra red land could come in useful. So we want to set up a turn where we can uh, tie his onslaught, a Mishra buffed creature. To just deal 10 damage. Probably better to give the pain land. The pain land, well, I mean, like, like what if Foothills guarantees the damage? But because we're relying on double strike to deal our damage for us, uh, doesn't really matter if the uh, pain land deals one dam or the shock land deals one damage or the pain land deals two, right? Because 
Well, I mean, the pain line might not deal any because they might just use it for colorless. So, uh, it's we got one guaranteed damage, but in the end, our damage is going to be x times two, anyways, right? So, doesn't really. Hmm. Or prowess creature. <laughs> but I think yeah, our opponent has to. Eltering light opponent. Yeah, I thought that there was going to have to be a sack to actually deal with the problems on board. It's a very, a very knockdown drag out fight, and it's past the ten minute mark, and we are uh, not win it. So. <laughs> We could have dealt six directly to them, but the card advantage is problematic. And I think we are we're still in a losing position even if we don't just take out the Karn. Oh my god. Yeah, we're dead either way. Our opponent would always have enough power to attack back thanks to the pump off of this and this. The three more artifacts in it, right? Yeah. Either way, if you enjoyed today's video, remember to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.